The Hartley Show is an entertainment program and does not own any of the copyrighted material featured in this episode. All copyrighted material featured will be used as fair use for the purposes of criticism, comment, news reporting, and or researching. Talkie talkie. We're ignoring you! Today on The Hartley Show, Marvel, DC, are they going to reboot or not? Stick around and find out. Hey, yeah. So way back when DC launched the new 52 and rebooted their entire universe, the question's been asked, will Marvel reboot their universe as well? Now, there's been no point at which Marvel has seemed to indicate they're going to do so, but their immediate response to the new 52 was to launch Marvel Now, which wasn't a reboot of anything. They were just relaunches of their titles, like the Fantastic Four and the Avengers and Captain America and the like. Now, they've since gone into Avengers Now Phase 2, which relaunched again the Fan 4, and which is relaunched again, it might even be Phase 3 now. Captain America, of course, you've got now Captain America is the Falcon, and, you know, all these sorts of things, but they're just continual relaunching of things like Miss Marvel and the new Captain Marvel and all that stuff. But Marvel hasn't indicated at any point in time that they are going to, in fact, reboot their universe, and why would they? Marvel perpetually reboots little things here and there along the way, but they've never had the need like DC to completely reboot their entire timeline, their whole continuity. Now, the way things are going with Marvel right now is they're leading up to this convergent storyline. Wait, that's DC, and I'll talk about that in a second. They're leading up to their secret invasion storyline. Wait a second. No, that was another storyline. Secret Wars. That's it. Secret Wars. Now, in the new 2015 version of Secret Wars, what this thing is going to do is it's going to incorporate pretty much every past storyline, like Secret Invasion and Planet Hulk, Age of Apocalypse, and somehow they're going to have all of these events brought back on a new battle planet, just like in the original Secret Wars, where the Beyonder brought all these heroes and villains to Battle World, and they fought for the grand prize of who knows what the grand prize was anyways, because nobody got anything. So they're going to reapproach this concept of Secret Wars, but somehow all these different events throughout the Marvel Universe that I just described are going to be taking place somehow on this planet all at once. Now, the first ad we saw, it showed some of the characters from the Earth X storyline, and it showed some of the characters from uh, the Shadow Line storyline, all in some big battle sort of thing going on. So, again, we don't really know what's going to happen with this, but there is no indication that Marvel is, in fact, going to reboot their entire timeline. Now, one of the reasons people would be suspicious of Marvel rebooting their entire timeline is obviously DC had a lot of success with the New 52, but beyond that, the main theme at Marvel right now is time is broken, and they are doing a lot of multiverse storylines, which seems to go along with this whole what's coming up with the Secret Wars storyline. The Spider-Verse storyline, of course, takes place throughout the multiverse, with Spider-Man assembling a team of alternate reality Spider-Man and taking on Moreland. So who knows? Maybe the way things are going right now is this time is broken storyline. Maybe it'll come to a head and finally be fixed during the Secret War storyline. We don't know at this point, but there is no reason to think that Marvel will reboot their universe. And like I said earlier on, why would they? Marvel has never had the screwed up continuity that DC had. They've had solid continuity right from the get-go. As long as there's been Marvel, there's been a tight continuity, and they just fix things here and there as they go along. 10 and 30. Go! Batman Eternal, fantastic weekly book. Superman Wonder Woman, a slightly awkward start to the new team, but solid. Superior Iron Man, kind of surprisingly good. Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Verse is outstanding. Axis Revolutions, absolute garbage. Guardians of the Galaxy, it's okay. Avengers World, great Doctor Doom stuffs. Moon Knight, who's reading this book anymore? Just League of America with Mesovirus, oh yeah. Earth 2 Worlds End, weekly and kind of weird, but if you love Earth 2, it's cool. Geek win! Mm -hmm. I wanted to punch him. So, that then begs the question, are they going to reboot the continuity over at DC? Which is a more fair question. 
Now, DC has a big storyline coming up right now called Convergence, as I mentioned earlier on. Convergence is going to start where their weekly series come to an end. You've got Batman Eternal, you've got DC in the New 52 Future's End, and you've got Earth 2 World's End. They're all going to come to an end, then they're doing a Convergence storyline. Now, what they're going to be doing with Convergence is telling stories from the pre-52 universe, the old continuity that we're all used to. They're going to be doing things like Marv Wolf is going to be writing a two-part New Teen Titans storyline that takes place in 1984. So the concept behind this, as Dan DiDio has explained, is to show fans that there's still room for the old DC continuity within the framework of the New 52. And right then and there, my having said that, it should inform people that the idea isn't to completely reboot things, but to actually open the gates up to all storylines everywhere, which seems to be where things with multiversity are going. But, of course, there is the Crisis on Infinite Earths anniversary coming up. I think it's the 20th anniversary of Crisis on, on Infinite Earths. A little known fact, it's actually the 30th anniversary of Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, that's what I was saying, dumbass. <laughs> I'm a failure. And all this stuff happening at the same time does lead to some speculation that maybe they'll just smooth the edges over of the new 52 continuity because it has been a little confusing and there is still this giant gap of time, the, the pre-five years to the modern time that we still don't know exactly what all happened in there. There's a big, huge gap of, hey, what's going on? So maybe they'll decide to fill that missing time gap with some storylines that took place in the old continuity. I'm just totally speculating at this point, but who knows? There is still a great uh, demand for that pre-DC 52 continuity from fanboys. We'll see where things go. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite all-time obscure stupid characters, Crazy Quilt. Created by the legendary Jack Kirby for the Boy Commandos in the 1940s, Crazy Quilt's concept was he was an artist by the day and a criminal by night. And he sucked balls because he was just a dumb, dumb, dumb character. So to make him cooler, they thought, hey, let's get rid of his vision and give him a cybernetic helmet that you can see through and it makes him even crazier and he could shoot beams of light and hypnotize people. But he was still horribly, horribly, horribly stupid. So the character just really languished and they never really did anything with him. So you have to be asking yourself a question right now. Who would win in a fight? Wood God or Crazy Quilt? And of course the answer is Crazy Quilt. Nah, I'm totally joshing it. It's, it's Wood God. He'd tear his head off and eat it for breakfast. Yeah. Hey, I got through a whole sequence without Ray attacking me. I miss Ray. <laughs> hey, Ray! Hey, we really missed you, man! We have this annoying portal now. Guess Dark showed up. There's a horde of zombies. Travel through time. Met a mad scientist. <laughs> You're just gonna keep hitting me, aren't you? <laughs> Do you need a hug? <laughs> I'm just gonna hug you. <laughs> well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. A giant thanks to Taz for letting us film here, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Man love.